Hi, I'm Raina Cash, Executive Editor of the Charlotte Observer, and I'm here with... Taylor Batten, Managing Editor of the Observer. And uh, we just wanted to talk to you today about a really big change that happened starting today at the Charlotte Observer. We've been talking about it for quite some time now, but this was the moment. Uh, this was the week in which uh, we switched to three days a week of print publishing. Um, there, there's a lot to be excited about with this change, but we also realize that there's a little trepidation as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big change. We've been publishing for, what, 135 years or something like that, six, six or seven days a week. So it's a big change, but it is an exciting one because there's so much more, really, you can get online than you could get from the printed paper. I love the printed paper. I read mm -hmm. it for many, many decades, but um, there's so much more uh, that you can get online. An example is the plane crash series that we've been running the last couple of weeks. There are videos, there are interactive graphics, there's all kinds of things that you could get from reading that package online that you couldn't get from reading it in print. And even as recent as today or, or last night, of course, there was a second assassination attempt on um, Donald Trump. And in today's edition, uh, in our digital platform that we have, we had, I believe, six stories about that, including a North Carolina angle uh, with the alleged shooter being uh, from Greensboro. And those are things that would have been much more difficult and challenging for us to get into the newspaper. Or impossible. That's one of the big pluses of, of the digital product is that you, you, the deadlines are way, way later. The deadlines for print had gotten so early that um, some major news actually was not getting in the next day's paper. And so at that point, it just makes sense to uh, put all our muscle behind digital and take advantage of those later deadlines. And so uh, just a refresher uh, from a print standpoint, the paper will be delivered on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, coming by mail, by mail and the Sunday paper will arrive on Saturdays. So it's, it's quite a change. But uh, in addition to that, we have all of our newsletters every day. We probably have a suite of at least 15 different newsletters, including an AM and PM newsletter, CLT politics. Uh, we roll out an education newsletter called Study Guide, and that starts uh, this week. Uh, we have Access Panthers, a new newsletter that we just launched that, that goes out twice a week. Uh, so there are a lot of ways to consume our content well beyond anything that print could ever offer. That's right. And there's a lot to say about the Panthers right now, but we won't get into that <laughs> with this video. Um, and then in addition to everything that you were just talking about, the print product itself, at the three days a week that we do publish print, is going to be filled with more local news and more national news than the daily papers that we've been running. So Because there will be the, the puzzles and games will be carried over from previous days, and so those print papers will have a lot more content in them. Yeah, um, but you know, there we understand holding that paper in your hand, and it means a lot. And we believe those Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday papers, like you said, will be full of content. But you certainly don't have to wait until those days to uh, to get everything that we have. So uh, it's a big moment uh, for the Charlotte Observer. We acknowledge that, but it's a big moment that moves us forward and gives us financial security moving forward, stability. Um, pushes us further into the digital age. Uh, we're already there, um, but you know we're just taking that, that major step uh, forward that gives us sustainability. And really it's just the natural evolution of um, technology and society and the way people get their news. Most of the world is getting their news and information online now. Mm -hmm. So this is just uh, more of us going to where readers are and where they expect to find us on yeah. different platforms. So next steps, I mean, what, what I would recommend, and I'm sure you would do the same, would be uh, download the Observer app on your phone. Uh, that way you can get uh, instant breaking news from us. You can get uh, the edition and all of the content that we have there. Um, and you can also access the print uh, replica of the paper on, on those three days uh, using that app as well. So it's updated all day long throughout the day urgent news, breaking news, as well as step backs and, and a lot of stuff just like the airplane series that we just ran. So we feel really good about, um, about where we are moving forward. Um, I just want to thank you for continuing to follow along with us uh, on this journey. Um, we just want to be the best and feel like we are 
honestly, if I can boast a little bit, I feel like we are the best uh, news organization uh, in the city of Charlotte, the most comprehensive uh, sports, arts, breaking news, um, everything that you could want or need, food and entertainment. There, by the way, there will be a food and entertainment section in the print newspaper as well, which we haven't had before. So um, again, I'm Raina with Taylor. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, for following along and um, we look forward to what's to come.